Now we're going to take a look at the primary functions related to inventory. First, we have the inventory management. So inventory management primary function authorization of production activity and maintenance of inventory at appropriate levels issuance of purchase requisitions to the purchasing department. So you then we have the primary function of raw materials stores that involves the custody of the raw materials issuance of raw materials to the manufacturing department of course as we go through these functions we want to consider these functions and you're considering what will be the risks involved in these functions the inherent risk what internal controls might be put in place for them how can we test for the internal controls as the auditor and then, of course, uh, the test of internal controls that we will do with regards to the auditing of them and then the substantive procedures that we can test related to these as well. Then we have the manufacturing, the primary function of manufacturing. That's going to be the production of goods. Then we have the finished goods storage. So the storage of the finished goods, which, of course, involves the custody of finished goods, issuance of goods to the shipping department. Then we have the cost accounting. Cost accounting is the maintenance of the cost of manufacturing. So we have to account for the maintenance of the cost of manufacturing. Inventory and cost records. We want to make sure the inventory is in the cost records. Then we have the general ledger. The general ledger is, of course, the accumulation, classification, summarization of inventory and related costs in the general ledger.